Und es geht weiter mit My Rise, wie wir zu gehen. Und ich hoffe, du bist wieder mit dabei. Ja, Leute, ihr wisst Bescheid. Abonniert, aktiviert die Glocke, lasst eine Bewertung, ihr schaut unten in der Videobeschreibung, da ist alles. Film. Wir machen direkt weiter, ohne zu zögern. Zu das ohne viel weiter zu labern. Du hast some Guts showing up here. Not really. See, Evolution in the Hurt Business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your intercontinental championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me. Because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away, intercontinental champion. Okay, Lock. We'll see. <coughs> okay, almost so viel Fall als erst in der Reihe. Da bin ich ja mal gespannt jetzt. Nein, erst Kamalo Hayes und danach Omos. Hier steigt gleich die Interfaction Action. Wir werden uns mit regulären Match mit Taktik. Okay, alles klar, machen wir. Ich weiß, dass er ziemlich schwierig kann sein, aber er hat schon so ziemlich alles erlebt und gemacht. Vertraue ihm und dem Prozess. Ähm ich mag das nicht, wenn hier die ganze Zeit so Sachen sind. Ey. Guck mal, ich muss immer drauf drücken. Gar keinen Bock. Okay. Ich habe das schon mal gesehen. Ich auch Big Dave. <lacht> ich auch Big Dave. Whips und trotzdem ruhig auch bleiben nur der ein starkes Team. Ja, ja, alles klar. Ihr seid die krassen New Day. Auf jeden Fall. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omos. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. Glaub mir, man muss Taktik. Randy weiß von mal, was er redet, hey. Da kann immer irgendetwas passieren. The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. And that definitely made solid impact. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Big forearm. Weil der benommen ist. Time since the Monday Night Wars, but Raw has not slowed down since. And as far as I can see, there's no end in sight for the Red Brand. I able to counter. He knows how to avoid contact. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Boom. My signature is weg. Oh goodness, what a moonsault. Oh! Wait to see her clear. Hey. MVP hat schon wieder gestört, ey. Into the corner. This can't be good. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Knees meet face. Climbing up top. He's Schaffst got big bei mir. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Hey, da kommt nicht mal drei. Was? 
Wieso kommt da kein Dreieck? Hey, MVP, Mann, übertreib doch nicht. So, ich will Omos. Was war das so stark heute Abend bei einem gewaltigen Kampf um den Intercontinental Championship? Ja. Studiert jetzt ist nur noch eine Formalität für den Giant Omos. All right, let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. Ich kann auch ohne deine Hilfe gehen. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm going to be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's going to think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Fina, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. Ja, war Randy, du bist ein Mann. Aber immer noch muss Taktik. Randy hat recht. Darf solchen hört Business und so diese faxen Leute nicht vertrauen. Die können sich einmischen und dann ist der Titel weg. Ganz einfach. So läuft es nun mal. Du brauchst immer einen starken Rücken in WWE. Immer, egal was. Wenn du alleine bist, verkackst du. So. What a night for the lock, as he stands alone without his evolution teammates to defend his intercontinental title against the biggest threat the hurt business has to throw at him. Omas! I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Ah, oh, kick! Come on. Nasty kick. It's been a wild year, but it's great to be back on Raw. No, wild doesn't even scratch the surface, Cole, but let's just focus on this match tonight. He avoids the damage and some effective Almost offense with that so one. Slow, yeah. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Yeah, Omos has to plot a way to get back into this. Climbing to the top rope, taking this one back to the ring now. From way up top oh. and down. The champion is looking to take things to the air here. But Omas has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP oh. making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Choke slam down <sighs> to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming too. He did Come it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business was too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder, where was Evolution? 
And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slade? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Das kommt davon, wenn man ja, Randy wusste am besten, ganz einfach. Das war wieder so klar. Ich habe sie doch gesagt, du bist gefeuert, das war's mit dir. Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Are you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. Well, I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed, repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it, you're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. Brosos Evolution, krank. Krass, schade. Ich habe bisschen mehr erwartet, wenn ich ehrlich bin. Aber naja, nicht so tragisch. Ich habe sowieso nie gebraucht eigentlich. Immer besser für Hurt Business. Wir müssen reden, das war nicht der Plan, ist sicher nicht zu spät, dich mit Randy und Gabriel zu versöhnen. Er ist vorbei, ich habe es versucht, wie du wolltest und es hat nicht geklappt, wir unterhalten uns bald, verlasse dich drauf. Krank, ey. Ich bin gerade selbst unter Schock. Ich weiß nicht, was ich dazu sagen soll. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in evolution. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. Oh my God. Und sagt mir nicht, wo Reigns hat hier beide Titel bei My Rice. Das macht zwar Sinn, aber man kann es ändern. Das machst du nicht. Nein. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. 
I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate Yes, men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. A.K.A. The truth. All you've done is complain since day one. Thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. And then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that. And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. 
You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Whoa! Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. Leute, das erinnert mich an Drew, Drew McIntyre, seine Story. Als Drew McIntyre WW war, es hat nicht alles so geklappt. Dann wurde er gekündigt, äh, gefeuert, hatte sich dann in Dinger in dies Übel gearbeitet und dann ist er wieder zurückgekommen. Aber noch krasser wurde Fußball gekündigt. Äh, kann ich nicht, Digga. Ja, nein, kann ich nicht. Ja, ich habe versucht, dich anzumachen, aber du bist nicht reingegangen. Ich bin zum Reden hier. Ich weiß, du bist gerade am Tiefpunkt, aber du musst das nicht alleine durchmachen. Ruf mich einfach zurück. Krass, ich bin einfach raus aus WW. Drei Monate später, wir tun kein Motion Capture Shooting. We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though. Just need a shot of the actual hold. Give me a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. All right, taunt your opponent. Can I for him to play motion there? Now taunt the imaginary crowd. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. Co Quinn, what? Der ist doch von 2K20, nicht nur von 2K22. Krass. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Hmm, baseball schläger. Und baseball schläger ist weggeflogen. What time does the MyRise crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Hey, so geil. Ich finde es schon geil gerade. Ich weiß nicht warum. Let me see your best heavy combo. Hey, Cole, man, chill doch ganz kurz, man. Der Typ, Alter, der lass mich doch ganz kurz mein Combo machen, ey. Hey, Lock, I know you were a big time WWE Superstar, but act like you want to be here. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry Cole. Ich bin extra leise, damit ihr das hört, was abgeht. Wie die schreien und so. Diese Töne. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it.
Ey, komm bitte, hör doch auf jetzt, Mann. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. Yes. Ooh, we haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Hey, ich habe meine Signature nice. gerade gemacht, ey. Ich stehe auf, dass ich schnell meine Signature zeige. So. Give me a finisher and hurry. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guest has arrived. Wer willst du mich verarschen? Das ist doch nur ein Dinger, Aufnahme für Dinger. Das hat mir aber schon Spaß gemacht. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock? <lacht> Doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Shall we wake him up? Yeah, I don't think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the... Morning, sunshine. What's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Mm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. 
Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down a peg of five. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up. Be everything I know you can be and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too for me and the dog, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. Coffee runs straight through me. <laughs> <laughs> Story gefällt mir. Jetzt fange fang ich sozusagen ganz klein an, um mich zu beweisen für WWE. Und der Wrestling Highlights ging bei der WWE CD verloren. Ja. Ich bin echt gespannt, wie weit ich jetzt kommen werde. <lacht> äh, okay. So, ich kann nur mit dem reden. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. <laughs> I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. Now, is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system and trust the process right not what i was going to say for sure what i learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off at least it gave it a fair shot so what you say we head over to the uk and you finally compete in a british rules match prove to me you're ready to wear the wig Okay. okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you'd love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. Aber Leute, das war's mit der Folge. Ähm, abonniert, aktiviert die Glocke, lasst eine Bewertung da, schaut unten in der Videobeschreibung, da ist alles verlinkt. Hade.